Hello guys, this is Salam Jinnit and welcome to another Samanas for video. So today we're gonna be doing, so we're gonna be doing the uh, the uh, monthly boss, the dimensional predator. And I'm not gonna be talking that loudly because it's late night. So <laughs> I don't wanna wake someone up in the middle of the night, me shouting. Yeah, so we're gonna be a little bit quiet today. So. Yeah, the dimensional boss this time is in Elunia, which means our team should be the same element. So, what have we have here this time? Okay, what can I, what we can see from here is the trash ray is made up of dark and light is also, okay, light and dark and water. Light and dark and water and the main boss is dark. Okay, what can we do then? Okay, this was the theme I used last time, right? In the last Denunia rotation. Um, actually, I can just use the same team, right? But we're gonna have a hard time dealing with the water monsters in the trashway, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, I'm gonna change a little bit here because we, uh, I'm gonna change these two. I'm gonna put Sylvia in instead of Panda because Sylvia strips. Because I'm gonna have a hard time uh, stripping the the uh, one of the mid bosses because I'm the, one of the mid bosses is water. So if I glance, I don't think I'll strip. So it's better to use a strip and a cleanse. Sylvia also has a cleanse there. And instead of uh, Colleen, I wanted to use the Huahi. Uh, Huahi because she was buffed. So this skill now defense break. So we have extra defense break and extra heal and attack power. Let's see if we can finish this in one try. Uh, the Kaki moves before the Wahi. Yeah, it's very hard to speed tune uh, in the Dimensional Predator because your stats get uh, uh, boosted 10 times. So the monster with higher base speed get boosted a lot. So it's very, very hard to uh, speed tune. For example, if you compare a monster with 100, 100 base speed and 110 base speed, if you multiply 100 by 10, it's 1000, and 110 by 10, it's 1100. It's a 100 speed difference there. I don't know. It's a, I don't know if that's how it's calculated, but I know the stats are boosted 10 times. So that's the problem. Very hard to speed tune in that regard because the boost it's boosted from the base speed, not from your runes, not not from the runes that it's uh, the base speed which get boosted. Uh, okay, so here we're gonna attack the blue guy here because the blue boss is the one that shield right the one shield and defense buff uh, i'm gonna lower him first because lower in the other one will be kind of dangerous because if he gets too low because he's uh i should say that when he hp decreases his attack power increases so if you keep him hp too low for too long it might be dangerous for us so it's better to decrease this guy's HP first, then go for the other guy. This guy gets tankier as he decreases HP. Yeah, he doesn't. He didn't do the Rasengan move. That that's, that's good. Can I crit? Okay, now he's doing the Rasengan move. Okay, now we can switch to him. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have immunity, so there's no way for me stopping the from them from stunning me yeah but we're gonna deal with it anyways okay we're gonna cleanse everything and attack him heal can i break the shield yeah i can okay oh i did too much damage oh no will my demon move can kaki kill yeah kaki can kill i didn't need, i didn't need the demon <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go for the dark girl. Okay, defense break. Okay, we defense break the Fermion, that's good. Boost. Okay, kill the Fermion. Oh, the Fermion gets tankier as his HP decreases. So it's kinda hard to one-shot this guy. Okay, good. It comes back, but... Oh, the Fermion comes back. <laughs> 
I thought she'll revive the other dark girl, but she revived the Fermion. We can strip the Fermion? Oh, I couldn't strip. If we strip, we're gonna bo get boosted attack part 2. That's kinda nice. Can I kill? Okay. Can I kill? Did the both of the Undyne use a uh, revive skill? I know one of them used. Yeah, it did use it. Revive twice. Yeah, so it did use. So they don't, they don't have the revive skill now. Okay, we're gonna do this to heal. I should be careful of using that skill because that skill has a 4 turn cold. I mean, the re uh, healing skill, I mean, of Huahi. That skill has a 4 turn cooldown, and my Huahi skill 2 is not. This doesn't have any skill up in the skill 2. <laughs> so I should be careful. Yeah. Okay, endless pain. Okay, we're gonna defense break. Okay, we got the defense break. <coughs> should I do this? No, we're not gonna do this. We're gonna save it for the cleanse. We're gonna use that skill as a cleanser. Okay, skill one. 320. <laughs> Did you guys see the damage? 323k from skill one. <laughs> oh god. The demon is so good. Uh, the demon is so good. Yeah, the fire. Uh, the, the, I'm sure they're gonna people who are gonna argue that the dark demon is way better. I I tot totally agree with you. But from the normal demon, from the normal elements, I really love the fire demon. Okay, he took my damage dealer, so it's kind of easy, actually, because these guys are squishy. They'll be easier to kill. Okay. Kaki skill 2 can kill? Oh, not, no, okay. Okay, now we're gonna use this as a cleanse and boost. Please take the word. Nice. It took the word. So we get boost and we get decrease in uh, cooldown. Okay, now we get defense break. Okay, kill. Nice. Good, good. So far, so good. Watch as I. <coughs> Okay, it heals itself. Defense break. Okay, defense break. We got it. Do you have skill 2? Yes, I do. Demon, do your magic. 327. <laughs> nice. The reason it's doing so much damage is because it absorbs 10%. The boss have very high HP. It absorbs the boss and the towers. Actually. Oh no, my... Oh... Uh, no oh, endless pain. Oh, I can't cleanse any of this. My cleanser is gone. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Sylvia is gone. My cleanser. I will have the darts because the darts have infinite turns. Because you can't see the, you can't see a number on the debuffs. Meaning it has it is infinite turns. I will always have the darts. Oh God, no. Okay, we're gonna boost. Kill. Okay. At least we have heal from the Huahi. That's good. Kill. I was about to say before the Huahi died. So before the Sylvia, not Sylvia. What's her name? Lisa. Ah, I was saying Lisa, Sylvia. Sylvia is the dark one. Lisa. Uh, before Lisa died, the Bale skill one uh, absorb HP from one of the uh, target and return damage. It since the tower and the boss have very high damage. So very high HP, so it, that's why it does a lot of damage. 555k. <laughs> yeah, did I beat this in first try? I think this is the first try. And with free to play units though. Yeah, but you guys are gonna argue that uh, the demon is not free to play. But uh, for a substitute for the demon, you can use Bailiger. The fire, what's that? Fire uh, Lightning Emperor. Can, you guys can use him instead of the if you guys don't have the demon i wanted to use a free to play team so you guys can copy as well yeah that was that team was almost free to play just one net fire you can just replace with the fire lightning if it does go and ha don't have the fire demon okay which rune should i pick okay i can see good nemesis rune this one and a good will rune but the thing is this nemesis rune has a crit damage slot uh, whereas the wheel slot to speed can, the accuracy could come in handy. 
uh, yeah, we're gonna pick the wheel run because wheel is used more often. Okay, can I get a wheel run grind, please? Oh, oh I got a nemesis grind. <laughs> okay, legendary. Oh my god. Uh, come to us. Why you jibate me? You're gonna sell that? Oh, he. They gave me a legend, uh, de like flat defense to grind it onto. How how thoughtful come to us is. Yeah, that's it. Okay, before I end the video, I'm gonna show you the stats so you guys can know what stats you need to complete the stage. Okay, here's for Sylvia. Sylvia is basically Violent Will. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you guys is every monster in the Dimensional Predator should have Will on because the boss will always move first and use Endless Pain, the one that dot you up, that infinite dot, dot skill. And the boss will do more damage the number of dots you have. So it's better to have Will runes on since the... Wait a minute. Okay, I... I uh, <laughs> let's switch to word. Okay, as I was saying, you should have wheel runes on every of and all the few monsters in Dimension Fader, so you get don't get dot on turn one. I'm sure most of you saw that. <laughs> okay, either ways, I was saying that wheel runes, wheel runes, wheel runes, wheel runes, and wheel runes. Everyone has wheel runes. Yeah, I think most of you saw it already. Yeah, I, for some reason, I didn't see it as well. I have three wheel runes and three Vio set. <laughs> she won't proc, but... Okay, at least I won, right? So it doesn't matter. I don't know, actually, it doesn't matter. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so blind. Okay, she's on three wheel, three Vio, but she, she should be in violet wheel, not three wheel, three Vio. Okay, guys. Don't do this build. Don't do this build. Yeah, I just gave her some stats. Crit rate and accuracy. Uh, accuracy because she need accuracy for the strip. And crit rate because she will crit and do some damage. Your supports don't need to be that tanky because your stats get uh, increased by 10 times. So you don't need to have high HP and defense. You just need crit rate and accuracy. And decent enough speed. The speed also won't matter much because your stats get 10 times increased as I said before. Yeah, and these artifacts are just random artifacts I gave. No need for that. This is the same word I use in Tricaru. So in Giants. So not Giants. In Dragons. I just have Vilrun on. That's the difference. So it's Rage for damage. Did I show you slot 1 and 3? Yeah. yeah. If I didn't show it. So this is word rage will attack with damage attack this is slot one five and three the just standard damage bill for word the same one you use for giants will the same one you use for dragons will also work here's wahi wahi i tried to get uh, more attack but unfortunately i don't have a good attacks violent rune left even in slot four that's why i use these two but ideally you want more attack so that your Huahi will also do damage from this. Yeah, basically that's violent will. There's random artifact. Word artifacts is also just damage artifacts. Nothing much. Next is Bale. Bale is on uh, rage, same as word. Attack crit damage, uh, speed crit damage attack. I use Bale in other content uh, like Cleave in Arena and in uh, Guild War sometimes use that, he's, him as Cleave. He's 100 crit rate, so he'll. Oh, your word also should be 100 crit rate because your damage healer should be 100 crit rate in order to get the consistent damage of. I think most words will be 100 crit rate. And uh, most of you build your words in 100 crit rate, anyway, so I don't need to tell you that. But your other damage dealer should also be 100 crit rate, so you won't cry when you miss crit and the boss survives in 1 HP and you die. <laughs> yeah, it's better to have 100 crit rate. And yeah, just random attack. Uh, oh, this is this is not even maxed. Okay, I could have done way more damage than the 300k and the 500k in the last round if I max this up too. <laughs> yeah, this guy is really good. Yeah, speed crit damage attack. You can go attack crit damage attack as well for more damage. But uh, I use bail in other content. That's why I need the speed. That's about it. Uh, next, the last monster is Kaki. So Kaki is on speed uh, attack attack. He doesn't need crit rate 
because khaki skills won't crit you just need accuracy for the skill one uh defense break that's about it this attack uh artifacts here as well yeah also you don't need to have this much speed uh, even if your monster is less than 50 see, my word is plus 23 it still worked you don't you don't need that much speed just this amount of speed is good enough the reason why most of my monsters has slot to speed because i use them in order of contact content except for word word is for giants why do i keep saying giants dragons word is using dragon that's why i don't need him to be on speed that's why the rest of the monsters are on speed but before I end the video as well, we're going to power up the drone I just got. So we'll see the stats I got. <coughs> <coughs> okay, please dodge the accuracy. Please. Okay, attack. <coughs> Sorry, guys. If I dodge the accuracy, I can use this on Savannah. Because Savannah could use uh, accuracy in subs. But mostly need the crit rate in the attack. Yeah, nice. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> I think I'm getting a cold. Nowadays, I do feel sick. Maybe I'm getting cold. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't have all day. Ah, why is it failing at plus eight? Oh my god! Are you kidding? <laughs> Can you please stop failing at plus eight? No. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, crit rate, nice. Okay, I need one more crit rate low roll, so I have triple crit rate, and you'll be twenty plus crit rate. Actually, I can use this on Tessarian too. Not only. Okay, I'll think about it once if it rolls crit rate. This crit rate, crit rate. Crit rate, come on. Even attack is okay, but mostly crit rate. <laughs> nice! <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, okay, I, okay. I'll think about what I'm gonna use as a drone in another time. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys trying the Predator out as well. Yeah, my team is mostly free to play, but if you don't have the Dark Fire Demon, you can use this guy as well. Uh, sorry, not this guy. This guy as well. It will work just fine with the same rune set here. The uh, the Bailiga used in raid should also work. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.